Ready. Maybe not. Right. Just warm up a little. <laughs> yeah. I am Hans. I am Franz. And we are here to prep oh. you up. Okay, that was too funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, seriously, this is Mike and Kevin with uh, PrepForEmergency.com. Prepare for emergency. Go visit the website. Uh, check out all the cool stuff that we're gonna we're gonna offer you guys. Yeah. Today we're gonna talk about books. Lots and lots of books. There's so many books on the internet. Um, everything from starting preparedness to even getting the blacksmith. Um, so today we're gonna talk about just basic books. Um, these bigger ones here, these are more advanced if you want. Uh, the When There Is No FEMA, this book is a great book for getting into, uh, if you want to build a community, uh, getting into preparedness, to di different disasters. Same with this one, uh, the Ultimate Survival one. It's the same thing as the When There Is No FEMA. So, so for those who, who might not know, uh, not pointing any names, what's FEMA mean? FEMA? Oh, Did I get you some? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta remember. Federal Emergency Management 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 Association Agency or something. Okay. Yeah, something okay. like that. We're gonna put that on the screen right about here. Because <laughs> the people we don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do we got next on the list here? What's the book? Okay. Next would be uh, the Prepper's Home Defense. I got this on Amazon. I, I love this book. You can you can you can probably even download the PDF of it. Um, it's a great book for just getting into home defense. Different things you can do to fortify your home. To uh, well, in Canada here we can't really endorse home defense too much. Um, you can defend yourself, but it has to be met force with force. And even then, it's a fine gray line. Mm, so it still has to be a personal choice. Yeah, more or less. so I, I can't endorse uh, taking a shotgun and, and defending your home because in Canada we really can't do that. But if we lived in the state where we plan to, as a business, move branch down to there, then I will be endorsing it. But not in Canada. Not in Canada. <laughs> um, we need to ruin Canada. That's how yeah. <laughs> we're, we're too, uh, what's the word? Um, we're too nice here. Right. Yeah. Right. We're cool. We're really not. We're jerks. <laughs> What's this guy here? Uh, <laughs> the Good Plan by Andrew uh, McMillan. <laughs> McMillan. McMillan. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of the jerk thing. <laughs> we really are jerks. <laughs> um, the Good Plan. It's a great book. Uh, Andrew McMillan wrote this uh, around the time of the uh, High River Flood. Um, or he was uh, he was involved a lot in that too. So it's a lot of he has a lot of account of living during the disasters and things like that about that, that, that time in the area. So different books from uh, different part of that book is from starting out to uh, how to prepare to different levels to communication to different vehicles to everything. And we even sell this one on our website with with his approval. So same with the uh, when there is no FEMA, we're just getting that in stock too. So that will be coming in the next month. Awesome. So awesome. No, that's good. And then uh, build your own bug out bag. You can get that on Amazon too. Um, it's a great book. It shows you everything from beginning bug out bags to like a 72 hour kit to even the more advanced, you know, if you want to go for a week or two. Um, different knife choices, axe choices, uh, shelters, uh, first aid kits, things like that. The stuff so, we need to know. Yeah. And then the final one is the Prepper's Natural Medicine. These ones are the handy ones. Uh, we'll learn a lot of uh, outdoor survival stuff with Aug Wild that uh, you can never know enough about plants. Uh, you'll get a lot of your, your balance of nutrients from your plants. Uh, also, uh, medically, uh, it's, it's handy to have the, uh, well, the knowledge of the different plants to, to get the, the different medicines, tinctures, uh, salves, uh, stuff like that for when you actually get hurt out in the, out in the wild. So um, it's definitely a benefit to know about plants for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's so much, and even uh, you can do antibiotics, build and make your own antibiotics on different preparedness and videos on YouTube and things like that too. Mm -hmm. So, 
There's a lot you can do for medical. We can always talk about that. Yeah, yeah. And depending on the level of, uh, of the disaster that you're in, I mean, you, if you run out of the supplies in your bug out bag, you got nothing left, but you only got one place to turn after that, and that's pretty much nature. And nature does supply everything that you need. You just got to know where to find it and how to get it and what to do with it. Exactly. Because not all of us want to go and ride, ride to uh, a local hospital maybe during disaster and try to raid their stock area. That might be a little difficult. If it hasn't been known already. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, yeah, if you have any questions, you know, add a comment. Um, if you have any suggestions, give us a like of videos you might want to see. Subscribe! Subscribe, please. And don't forget our contest that we're doing for 100 subscribers, giving away one of our shovels. And, yeah, thanks for watching our video. We'll talk to you soon. Catch you next time, folks.